All right, so this next topic is about the doubters in our lives. We all have people from time to time who might doubt us or the things that we're doing. And those situations can be difficult to handle. Um, I will kick off this one um, and talk about a time when, you know, we had doubters or I had doubters and how I handled that. So for me, it's simple. I try my very best to ignore them or find humor in their doubting of me. I've found over the years, uh, you know, being on YouTube, uh, you get exposed to all the doubters in the world. Um, and 99% of the time, the doubters are just uninformed about my abilities. And so for them to then vocalize that opinion that is based on false premises, it really just kills me. Um, so I love when people express some kind of doubt or criticism that is just like wrong. Um, it reminds me of a, a saying I love that is to remember that the people who are booing you aren't on the field with you. They are the ones that bought tickets to watch the show. Um, so that, that helps me when I am facing people that might be doubting me or my ability. Brianna, how do you feel about doubters and how do you handle it? Uh, you know, I mean, there are of times random people who uh, will riddle me for my disability and look down on me, but you know, they're strangers. <laughs> I don't even know their names. Um, honestly, I think I, and my biggest doubter, you know? It's my own doubt that gets in the way of me doing the things that I want to do. Um, you know, I, I pretend to be optimistic, but I think deep down, I'm actually very pessimistic about my career and my ability to like live as an adult in the world as someone with a disability. Um, but, you know, therapy has been a huge game changer for me in terms of, like, recognizing and addressing my self-limiting beliefs um, and also surrounding myself with people who challenge me. You know, a, a lot of people will try and, like, temper us and, like, hold us back from doing these things so we don't that are hearts broken, but at the end of the day, you know, heartbroken or heart heartbreak is inevitable. <laughs> you can't escape it. Um, and life is too short to uh, be afraid of things that hurt us. Uh, and having people who believe in us and are willing to support us as we do these, you know, big, amazing, crazy things, that is so important. Um, and, and having their, their stubbornness, uh, it really runs off on you. Yeah, I, I agree, um, Brianna. I, I feel like, you know, there are the doubters, but then um, keeping my friends and my family who are supporting me close and letting those voices be louder and, and more constant um, is really important. Um, and, and, and so for me, when it comes to the doubters and the, the skeptics, um, of what I can do, um, I, I really don't worry about them much because, um, they don't know my situation and, and, uh, they'll catch up eventually, um, just like I'll catch up eventually, uh, on something that involves them because I'm not there yet. We're all, uh, kind of going through life at a different different pace and um, we're all in different places um, at all times. And so um, I think, uh, yeah, kind of shrugging them off with, but with grace, not just saying, well, you know, heck with them, <laughs> but, but saying, no, that's okay. It's all right, they'll, they'll figure it out. And I have a lot of things myself to figure out. Um, but Shane, I, I love to what you said that uh, you said, I try, try, try. 
to do that. And so, um, I mean, we're all human and, and I think uh, that's what I try to do. Um, but of course there are, there are moments um, of weakness, I guess you could say, where I, I get frustrated or, or discouraged. And so that's where, um, where the other voices come in. That's where the, the friends and family step in to remind me uh, who I am and, and who they are and, and that they are there with me. Yeah, that's super good. I was just going to say that too, Kevin, is, you know, being gracious with people because I don't think people intend to. I think there's two sides. I think there are just haters and doubters, um, but I think there are people who just don't know, kind of like what Shane was saying. They're, they might be, you know, unaware or ignorant to what you're capable of. Um, and at that point, I sometimes just don't even bother over explaining, um, you know, everything. And you just kind of let or I just let my life, you know, its actions be the response to their doubt versus trying to always battle it, I think. Totally know what you mean about dealing with ignorant people. For me, when I do come across someone who doubts my ability to thrive, my approach is very simple. I block out their negative energy and I believe in myself that I will accomplish whatever I'm trying to do. And when I'm done, I know I gave it my all. And in the end, that's all that counts. That's truly the best way to be, that I've found to deal with them. Thank you. Yeah, I love all of these perspectives.